Stacy and James, we're live at Grandview College on Des Moines' northeast side. And the president here at Grandview says uh, she wants to make sure that uh, people in Iowa know that most Iowa smaller colleges and universities are in really good shape and that Wesleyan closing is unusual. The closing of a 180-year-old Iowa university like Wesleyan is a blow to its nearly 800 students. It's very heartbreaking and having to deal with all this, like, I don't even know, like, where to start. It was just devastating to hear about the closure of Iowa, Iowa Wesleyan. It's also a shock to the president of Grandview University in Des Moines. Rochelle Keck grew up in Mount Pleasant, the home of Wesleyan. She says Grandview's health is good, but that all smaller Iowa colleges are now dealing with inflation and the need to watch every penny. We all have unique niches that we fill. Uh, we're spread out throughout the state. We're huge economic drivers in the communities in which we live and work and play. And um, hopefully this is just an anomaly. It was no surprise. They've been struggling for a long time. Our hearts go out to the students at Iowa Wesleyan. Gary Steinke is the president of the Iowa Association of Independent Colleges and Universities. He says Wesleyan University has been struggling for years. The remaining 24 Iowa colleges and universities under his watch are doing well. None is facing a similar shutdown, but he echoes President Keck, it's a time for Iowa colleges to be fiscally conservative. There are decisions that have to be made every week. How many times do you mow the lawn? How many times do you trim the trees? And it may sound ridiculous, but that is the level of detail these presidents are, are paying attention to in their own budgets. And one bit of good news from Westland that they have now worked with other Iowa smaller colleges and universities to give their students a chance to go other places to continue their education here in Iowa. We're live at Grandview. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.